wasting much time. Will you help me welcome Apostle Selma Joshua? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor, thank you again. I will thank you again and again and again. You know, with every moment we meet, we continue to grow in our relationship and i sincerely appreciate you and your wife i thank the leadership to thank you sirs in jesus name no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No more you won't tear down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No more you won't be down, lie you won't be down, coming up to me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the last service and um, I'm not going to do so much of teaching so that we can pray. Hallelujah. I said yesterday that there are four things that you must experience every time we gather before the Lord number one is encounters and i've been teaching on it number two is transformation transformation number three is that there must be an opportunity to experience the outstretched hand of god in miracle signs and wonders god is not only a teacher he is not only a rabbi he is a miracle worker he can turn the lives of people. Do you know, it is faith enough to serve God in the midst of your pain. To serve God with issues around your life. But if it is the God of the Bible that you meet, even your hunger is solved. In the crusade ground, when he was done teaching, he said, don't let the people go that way. This is not my character. I don't just feed their spirits alone. He said, Master, what you are demanding for, we don't have the ability to provide. He said, bring what you have. There has to be a miracle there to feed the people. And there were 12 baskets left. We must have an opportunity to encounter his hand. And then finally, an opportunity for impartation. You see, the apostolic ministry will always leave you with a deposit of spiritual things. He said, I long to see you once and again but satan hindered us but when that hindrance is cleared out of the way and you see them then you can impart spiritual gift to the end that people are established i know that many of you have endured i was touched we we're talking with pastor and i was told that some of you as at 4 a.m you were already here you know waiting and some of you probably have your ministries some of you have age-long issues some of you are waiting you are representing your families here and some of you are saying god don't let me finish this year like this in one minute i'd like you to open your mouth and cry to the lord let it be from the depth of your heart lord let this be a moment of solid encounter There's someone praying Abalako sata branda kase de balate. Abroto shodo bladisi atabash. He barato sabanda bradisa de balatas. Mention the areas in your life that the Lord must step in for you. 
we are come unto Mount Zion. Shalanda basa brakato zeziata halako. Shepalato sabranda kato shalebre kedish. Embrotoko sabaruta sadabrande kedekalash. Sabababababababa kata prata kasote pradigeta lekete prendes katarita shoda brakata labos harusa de bras katela shoda brande galatos yata shibarita pas I assure you your life will never be the same never be the same. Covenant keeping God, you are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Ela bakatosa prada gadala katosi. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Sing you are, you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Shiva la sabranda gabarito Sabranda Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen, you see when when you come before the lord the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe that he exists he is and then number two that he is the rewarder it's not just what he does is a name he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him diligently seek him diligently seek him i'm seeing chains in the spirit and I'm seeing the number 17. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on people right now and is breaking chains. Some of them, if we can have some of them here, no problem. If you can just bring them out, I declare by the Spirit of God right now, everywhere inside and outside, everyone under any captivity, as I've seen in the visions of the Lord, I declare chains be broken now. Chains be broken now. Chains be broken now. Bring them out. Chains be broken now. In the name of Jesus, by the Spirit of the Living God, I decree and declare that every fraternity with darkness, keeping people bound, chains be broken. I'm seeing the hands of people. There's there's fire, fire coming on the hands of people. Help them, please. Help that lady, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. Sheke paruta sikata, sheke pray koto shupa. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the hand and the might of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Chains be broken, chains be broken here at this conference. Chains be broken in the name of Jesus here at this branch. Be broken, be broken, be broken.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray a prayer. Please listen. It's a grace that God has given me and I want to pray. There is a grace for speed in life. Listen to me. Please listen. And when I pray this prayer, when the hand of God comes upon you, people are going to be running physically. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. But it's a grace. You see, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, upon this church and upon everyone hearing me. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic grace standing in faith with your pastor i declare right now may that grace come upon you take that grace speed 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 bring them out speed speed in your life i release that grace speed in ministry speed in career i release you by the spirit of the living god and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The years of delay, the years of stagnation. In the name of Jesus, speed for you. Speed for you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yahweh, Yahweh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing written restoration. Please listen to me. It says, and I will restore. Please, I want you to be very serious and be very spiritual. Many of you have lost things. Many of you have lost opportunities. And you are saying, God is a mistake that I made. But if you give me room now, my life would have been 10 times better right now that grace is coming upon you lord i don't know where they are but in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number 13 upon you may that fire right now that grace strange restoration receive it right now receive it right now receive it receive it right now, it right now. take that grace right now restoration of things lost restoration of relationships restoration of opportunities now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty listen to me your pastor put this meeting because of the depth of his passion to see you experience the fullness of the life and the power of God haven't had encounters haven't been transformed by the word there must be an opportunity for you to experience the grace of God who is Jessica Jessica I'm hearing a name Jessica we may not have that time we're working with time who is Jessica please be careful with them Jessica I'm hearing that name in the spirit Abiodun who is Abiodun 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 that's what I'm hearing in my spirit is your name your name is Biodun Abiodun where are you coming from this is my church this is your church i want to pray for you i'm seeing another person not you but i will pray for you you can't come and go back what's your name look at me is this mic working make sure it's working it's on now stand up my friend stand up 
Where, where's your family? They're in Lagos, yes, sir. Huh? They're in Lagos, yes. They're in Lagos. Because I am seeing, I'm seeing someone, I don't know if it's your father or an uncle. Your father is alive? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm seeing him climb a ladder and the ladder breaks and brings him yes, back. Yes, is that true? It's true, sir. Huh? Stand up, stand up. You see, there is nothing special about what we are doing. Let me tell you, we are only representatives of the power and the grace of God. I, I hope you understand. But the Lord is going to, you see, it is important that you go back and say, I really came to church. I was glad when they said unto me. Yes. My friend, shout Jesus as loud as you can. That's the end of that captivity forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mama, can I talk to you? Come. We may not have the time. Oh dear, I wish we had, but we'll just do our best and work. Don't worry. You will receive. God really wants to visit situations in this church right now. Mama, where are you coming from? Don't cry. I'm coming from Ikorodu. Please, can you help us with a bit of volume media on your mic? I'm coming from Ijeda in Ikorodu. Ikorodu? Yes, sir. It's very far from here. Where are your children? My daughter is in Banju. I hear me madam okay hallelujah mm -hmm. praise the lord sorry i was i was talking with this woman please victor you can give someone the mic if you if you're busy so that you can do some other things the lord opened my eyes sir, and i'm looking at this woman and i was asking her if her husband has partial paralysis mm -hmm. uh, madam because i'm seeing a man who is paralyzed yes. uh? my husband has stroke since uh, 2013 this, that's what I'm saying. And if I don't pray for you, because this is a pattern, it's already coming to you now. His you two, two brothers are dead already as a result of stroke. So you see that this one is not sickness. Because it's already on you too, mama. Yes, I can't. If I'm walking, my two legs is like they are seizing. It's uh, like I I'm you? walking on uh, foam. Have I, I ever seen you, madam? Well. No, but sir. except God is not God in this place right now you will never forget this conference for the rest Amen. of your life because you see what, what you need mama look at me what you need is not healing you see that because this is not sickness it appears like sickness but it is demonic did the bible not say even the lawful captives you see it, it's not just something written on scripture no 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 we read the scripture so that we will believe and if we believe the bible says we should see the glory of god who is this it's my daughter i need to pray for you you wake up in the morning and you feel severe pain Very around your back from your back yes, you can't sir. even bend down to wash no. severe pain yes it that's will go why right I'm now like this. that's why you are like this yes it has eaten inside me. I'm, I don't know why I'm looking like this. I'm only just 60. You are but, just 60 and you are and looking... I'm looking as if I'm 80 years. Oppression is real low. Look at this woman now. Came to church. I've A woman... I've since three, four days now in the church here. Because I needed... You've been in the church here. for me that I should come and meet you. I should come and meet you to pray for Mama, her. Mama, don't worry. You have come to meet Jesus Christ, yes. the Son of the Living God. I hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now. Help her, please. Every force, go now. I command that captivity of decades to live your life, live your destiny. Be free right now. 
bring me two ladies at the back who will shout under the power of God I want to speak to them I saw the anointing of the Holy Spirit just leave here there are two people ladies the strong anointing will come upon them a loud shout bring them who is that what's wrong with you my dear I need to pray for you. Um, I've been depressed for a long time. I want to move. Mm, I will pray for you. Please look for those people. There's one more loud shout. This person is outside, not inside. One of the people is outside in one of the overflows. The power of God is going to come on that one person outside. You know depression is the spirit. And the Lord is asking me to stand here because there's one of you, that spirit is going to leave you now. Here, no, 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 just this role. I'm, I'm operating as the spirit of God is leading me. I command right now, that spirit, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking to you by the power of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of Jesus, it's time to go. Go now and go forever. Help them, please. Go now and go forever. Go now and go forever. Help that lady, please. Go now and go forever. You are my namesake. Your name is Joshua. The Lord is restoring. There is, I'm seeing three people. You have dreams, and God shows you things in dreams. But in the last one year, it's like you just lost everything. Something happened to your spiritual life. I want to pray for you now. The power of God is going to come upon you. There will be a strange restoration. Right now, I'm declaring at the count of three Lord, I don't know where they are, but in the name of Jesus let that fire come upon your altar right now let that fire come upon your altar right now let that fire come upon your altar right now hallelujah my dear hold my hands don't be discouraged the word of the lord will come through in your life you have cried but god is visiting you right now in the name of jesus christ visiting you right now in the name of jesus christ my dear look at me what do you do because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing somebody who's can you put the mic on her are you a pastor or a preacher or something yes sir huh yes sir, where I'm, called, I'm working under a ministry now you're working under a ministry yes sir because god is going to use you mightily Amen. but there are many things you need to learn many many things that you need to learn huh i hope you're not embarrassed that no, i'm not talking at all. to you not at all. yes but i need to pray for you please don't just come out at random eh? let's my dear god will use you but you will need there is a lot for you to learn but lift your hands there is a fire that is coming upon you i stretch my hands right now and i declare in the name of jesus i activate strange dimensions Amen. in the spirit Amen. i declare that your spirit man will begin to read impulses of the spirit Amen. fire upon your life in the name of jesus christ my friend, look at me. Ah. I declare that this gate I'm seeing in front of you, this gentleman, I'm seeing you stand in front of a gate and it's not opening for you. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and caught the iron. Are, are we Bible students now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that door be opened in the Spirit. Now be opened in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For five years, no child. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's you or someone. Five, one, please listen. Don't just come out. Huh? Five, give her the mic. You are, you, five years. She's a member After of this church. I want to pray for you. You see, every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. My sister, look at me. 
you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Where's your husband? Is he here? No, he's not here. Place your hand on your womb. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Look at me. I stand by the God of heaven. The Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion. To appoint means to name the time when it should happen. I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you the life and the power of the spirit. I don't care what the medical situation is. Look at her. You see, there's something I'm seeing being loose from your womb. I don't care what it is. Return according to the time of life with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a man here. Your wife is not here, but you are trusting God too for this miracle. Where are you? Come. Don't come out if you are not married. What the help these people? Please, so you are here too? Okay, let me pray for you. Two of you? You are brothers. It's a pattern in the family. I want to pray for you. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. Jesus is here. You are brothers now, and it's the same situation. That's why I say I want to pray for you. It's not the issue of healing. Uh -uh. Hold your hands together if you can. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of God, I stand by the blood of the eternal covenant. And right now I decree and declare, two of you be free now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free now. I release you by the Spirit. According to the time of life, return with your children. Okay, this gentleman, let me pray for you. What do you do? You are a gospel singer. You are serious? Very serious. Spiritually and in your music. Father, help this gentleman. You know, when you want to be prayed for, you have a responsibility to be serious. When you are serious, it will motivate people to pray for you. I hope you are not embarrassed. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless and help my brother. I release you and I release your ministry. In the name of Jesus, let your environment hear you and reward your grace. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you step into a very strange dimension of favor this lady in the name of jesus not only for you but for your entire family in the name of jesus christ is it good news or goodness goodness it's like a name somebody's name goodness good news goodness is there someone like that i want to pray for the sick shortly now there's somebody good good is it good news or no this is a woman no you are wearing is it your name what i'm seeing you are wearing is it like a yellowish you are like these women in uh, out there if they are not in here maybe if they are outside no problem what's your name madam huh why is she coming out? Huh? Fruit of the womb too. Okay, let me just pray for you. But we have to work with time. But come. Are you pregnant? Ah, madam, there's something in your stomach. Oh. Are you aware? No. no, sir. Have you gone to the hospital for test? No, sir. We have to pray. How long have you been married? Seven years. Seven years. Yes. You believe Jesus can do a miracle yes. for you? Yes. Because I'm seeing there's, there's something in your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now, let there be a miracle that every planting that is not of the Lord, let it be out of this womb right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bring liberty. Complete Amen. liberty. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Liberty. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. But before then, I want to pray. You see, brothers and sisters, there are many of us who have been oppressed by powers of darkness and we may not be aware 
and it's important for you to be free some of you are not even standing just for yourself some of you may not believe it but i want can i pray for you we have to pray that prayer upon mount zion there shall be deliverance you're going to shout the name of jesus at the count of three inside and outside let it be from the depth of your heart and as you shout that name that is above all names the power of god will begin to move across i want you to bring those people there will be strange deliverances many of you age-long captivities movements in your body all kinds of demonic things that have trapped you down you see i'm already sensing fire is coming on the hands of so many people father right now in the name of jesus we declare by the spirit and as we call that name that is above every other name let there be deliverance are you ready one two three shout jesus right now be free be free from every demonic oppression bring them out be free i command every altar every activity of darkness ordinances of darkness covenants and yokes in the name of jesus bring them out here at this conference be free now he who the son sets free you are free indeed i declare by the spirit be free indeed be free indeed now i'm seeing i'm still going to pray for women I'm, I'm looking and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit what looks like a snake. And I'm seeing this thing tying the destiny of many ladies here. Right now at the count of three, you will shout that name again. My God and my King, arise as a mighty one that you are. Deliver many women here who are gates in the spirit. One, two, three, shout that name. Be free now. I set altars on fire tying your destiny down tying your fruitfulness down in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free for you and for your family hallelujah hallelujah my friend that young man tap him for me the one lifting his hands lift your hands i'm seeing an angel pour like oil on you that gentleman right now i stretch my hands from here take that grace right now in the name of jesus new level in the spirit now i want to pray there are many of you here that you have seen in dreams and visions the call of god is upon your life there is a strong unction in the name of jesus before i pray for the sick the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and release grace upon your life i declare lord there are prophets here there are apostles here there are pastors here right now at the count of three the unction for your destiny the unction for your ministry let that grace come take that grace now take that grace now fresh fire upon your altar apostolic fire prophetic fire i activate the wells spring up all wells the wells of the prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear the eyes that see the ears that hear for men and women i activated by fire in the name of jesus the teaching anointing let it rest upon you access to revelation spiritual illumination
sir what do you do i'm seeing you inside a car come what do you do sir give him the mic Hallelujah. I'm seeing you inside a car driving. Yes. What do you do? I drive now. You are a driver? Yes. Uh, what do you have to do with music? I used to be in the choir. I used to be, I used to play keyboard and sing. But now you drive. But now I drive. I want to pray for you that God will establish your own business. You believe that? I believe. Listen, there is a grace that establishes men. Oh. I pray for you, sir. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your hands. Father, let grace come upon this man that will establish him. I declare your heavens opened. In the name of Jesus, drink of that grace and let it turn you to a sign and a wonder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be careful with the people so that um, I, I, I'm standing here because the Lord is asking me to stand here. There is, there is a woman here. I don't know where, but the Lord wants to. I'm seeing something come out of your body. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm standing here like you have instructed. I don't know who. Maybe it's the pastorate, but I'm praying right now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. There is one of you. The Lord wants to remove something from your body. Father, in Jesus' name, the Christ of God, I come with the power of the Spirit and I declare, let there be that deliverance right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, UBA. Who works there? UBA. You work in, in the bank, UBA. I just saw UBA. Is there anyone like that? We're going to pray for the sick now. UBA. If you find someone like that, please let me know. Now, I want to pray for the sick. Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hands right there. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Lay your hands on your chest. And for those following from everywhere around the world, connect you don't have to come out you work in uba as what i'm as a relationship officer okay i want to pray for you you're the only person i saw uba um well i may not know but let me pray for you in the name of jesus may god preserve you and may god lift you and may god also honor you in the name of jesus and for the one i've seen the trouble that will be created around you to take you out of that job place wherever you are we cancel it now in the name of jesus christ god bless you let's pray for the sick thank you jesus i believe in miracles i really believe in miracles and i want to pray for you lay your hands there expecting believing hallelujah Someone is going to shout here, a loud shout to the hearing of everybody. The moment that happens, the healing power of God will begin to move. Right now I decree, by the spirit of the living God, agree with me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My God, there's such anointing moving here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Harusiata. Right now, I rebuke the spirit of infirmity. I command the spirit of infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. Be banished from the bodies of God's people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I declare be healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. Breast lumps, be healed right now. Ovarian cysts be healed right now. Bone conditions be healed right now. Respiratory conditions be healed right now. Blood related cases be healed right now. 
heart conditions be healed right now eye conditions be healed right now whether it's your monthly circle or not the power of god is coming on that person it looks like you have the issue of blood i curse it now to the root in the name of jesus christ i curse it now to the root in the name of jesus christ there's someone having a problem with your ear in the name of jesus i declare be healed right now some of you are standing in for your loved ones may the angel of the lord from where you are to where they are bring supernatural healing every family here appointed unto death in the name of jesus that the devil has planned that you will not see the end of this year i declare by the spirit i cancel that counsel in the name of jesus christ be healed completely healed in jesus name the final thing that i will do and then i'll take my leave I believe in impartation impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities everywhere I go and God grants me the grace sir, I share a bit of my experiences and I share those things so that the faith of people can be built when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me the light that came from him to me years ago he would give me an instruction that every place and every meeting that i go to there must be someone in that meeting that that light that came from him must leave to that person and listen to me i didn't have the opportunity to deal with the fourth encounter but i pray that god will grant grace but the fourth encounter is the encounter with the body of christ there is the encounter with the son of the living God. There is the encounter with the office and the person of the spirit. There is an encounter with the word of God. But there is the encounter with the body of Christ. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Hi -ya, hi -ya, ha -ha. Hey. Hi -ya, hi -ya, ha -ha. Prophesy to yourself. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer and supplication. There are many of you here, your prayer altars have gone down. You don't pray just because you want to pray. There is a grace that supplies power for prayer. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over the entire congregation. The grace to endure and pray and travail until you bet results. Right now at the count of three, that anointing is coming upon you. One two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now from the front to the back the left to the right the grace for prayer the grace for intercession the grace to fast the grace to pray receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of revelation Access and insight to scripture illumination and spiritual understanding especially for those of you in ministry 
in the name of Jesus the Christ of God may that grace come upon you now I open your eyes to see I open your ears to hear in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and listen and Saul met Samuel and Samuel prophesied to him he said the donkey you have been looking for has been found let me speak to somebody by the spirit I don't care what has left your hand and left your life by the spirit of prophecy and according to the time of life I call it back to your destiny Please believe. I call it back to your destiny. I call it back to your destiny. Number two. Samuel told Saul. He said as you go you will meet three men. Holding two loaves of bread each. They will salute you. And they will give it to you let me speak favor on someone's life in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare beginning from today not tomorrow today after this service I stand by the grace of God and I declare may the unction that provides for favor let it mantle your destiny now favor that opens doors favors that creates opportunities i place the word of prophecy upon your head upon your life surprising miracles by the supernatural word of the spirit everyone here trusting god for a job in the name of jesus for many of you before december 31st I speak by the Spirit of God. May my God surprise you. Listen, I don't know what your God can do, but I declare by the Spirit, may my God surprise you. Apostle, my spiritual life is down. I don't even have the passion to study. I love God, but I found out I'm cold and uninterested about everything spiritual. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh passion for the things of God. Fresh zeal, hunger for God. I impart upon you supernatural hunger for the presence of God. Supernatural hunger for the things of the spirit. Let me pray for every member of this church. I've blessed everyone, but every member and every worker that you belong to this church, you are a faithful person. I speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I open you by prophecy to your season of reward. Step into prepared blessings. Listen, these are not empty words. I assure you, you will marvel and wonder at the things God begins to do in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. For every one of you that sacrificed to stay, some of you left from far and came. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I speak to you. I command your territory to honor you. Yeah listen you see there is a difference between respect and honor you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred by another honor is a grace there are things you do to keep that grace but the grace of god there is the grace that brings honor in a man's life it's not just because you are skilled or valuable no sir no sir there are many skilled, valuable, sincere people. But there is no grace for honor. 
because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness the bible says therefore even god thy god hath anointed you with an oil that sets you above your fellows i speak over your life in the name of jesus the christ of god may that grace for honor come on your life i still feel like praying that favor prayer for you before we go exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i speak over your life that which makes for emptiness even in this season i cancel it right now yeah. esther chapter 2 and verse 15 b and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her i pray that from today everyone who sets their eyes on you i compel them to bless and honor you i compel them to schedule opportunities for you in the name of jesus christ And Jacob dug a well and the Philistines came and closed it and he dug another well and they closed it and he dug the third one and they left him and he called it Rehoboth he said God has given me my own place I want to speak to someone you need your own space psychologically physically I release upon you the grace that allocates your portion I call the God of portions to honor you in the name of Jesus And Barak called on Balaam to come and curse the nation of Israel. And when he tried again and again, the cult did not work. Because he saw the nation of Israel in a formation with the ark of God in the midst of them. And he says, these are a people God has blessed and I cannot curse. Because the shout of a king is in the midst of them. I create a spiritual fortification around your life. That in the name of Jesus, everything that is not of God, every arrow that flies by day and the noisome pestilence by night, I declare it returns back to the devil. The Bible says, have you heard this proverb that in a day a nation can be born? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, let me pray for you. For someone I'm prophesying to you, that when the Lord will turn again your captivity, that it will be like a dream. He says, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I speak to you, a supernatural turnaround from shame and reproach. <laughs> Hallelujah. And at the time of famine, there was a raven that brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith. It brought him bread and he ate and fed him there. I invoke upon your life the mystery of divine supplies. Strange help rising to you from everywhere. In the name of Jesus. We are wrapping up. Let your spirit be open. The Bible says, and that night King Ahasuerus could not sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And the book was open. And he saw there where Mordecai had delivered him and not been rewarded. Many of you have helped many, but they have forgotten you. I stand by prophecy and I open the book of remembrance. In the name of Jesus Christ, be rewarded for your faithfulness. Be rewarded for your sacrifice. In your office, be rewarded. hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon joseph had the grace but he was in the dungeon i pray for you whoever must call you in this season and stand in partnership with the holy ghost to lift you to the next level i provoke their ministry over your life hallelujah and david said is there any man in the house of saul 
that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake. Hallelujah. And they went to Lodeba and found a crippled man called Mephibosheth. He called on Ziba. And the Bible says Ziba had 15 sons. Yet, aside from his 15 sons, they did not give any of them any inheritance. They went and carried um, Mephibosheth. And he said, I am a dog. What is the king doing with someone like this? And the king came and said, Ziba, you and your children will plot the land for this man. But as for him, he will be with me. He will eat with me here all the days of his life. Can I speak to someone? Whoever must remember you and send for you to empower you and empower your ministry. There is only so much you can do by yourself. My brothers and my sisters, hear me. You need God to raise men to hold your hand. Listen, listen. Aaron and Hor could not, they could not hold the rod, but they could support the hand of the one holding the rod. I pray for you. Strange helpers. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. Help them, please. That everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, in this new month, I command them to appear. <laughs> Hallelujah every long-standing project you started building you've not been able to complete it you started a project you've not been able to finish it the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it if god is alpha then he must be omega too i declare by the spirit whatever is threatening completion of anything in your life i command by the spirit of god the finisher's anointing let it come upon you now and for all of you who stand to lift up and support the hand of your dear pastor and his wife i speak to you in the name of jesus the son of the living god as god lifts him may god lift you as god blesses him may god bless you every request you came here with whether i spoke it or not i release my faith with you and in the name of jesus the christ of god return with strange testimony Finally, whatever will steal away your passion for God, whatever will take away your desire for spiritual things, whether it is an association or it is a provision or whatever it is, may my God take it far from your life. And for those of you who are saying, Apostle, i've spent my life serving god but it looks like there is no evidence i speak to you in this season i call it prophetically your season of reward may god himself bring consolations to your christian experience in the name of jesus christ pastor thank you so much for this opportunity may the lord bless you may the lord increase you in jesus name